Praise God. We we thank our Father. We worship Him. We thank Him for His faithfulness. Um, most especially upon the earth, what He's doing right now upon the earth, um, when He has to do with His agenda, when He has to do with His program upon the earth. Um, the only people um, on the earth right now that um, we bring about the agenda of God, we bring about um, the program of God upon the earth. They actually are the Ecclesia, the body of the Messiah, which is actually the body of Christ. The Bible says that um, the earnest of the earnest of creation, they are actually groaning and waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. Um, of course, we talk about sons of God. Um, we are not just talking about a denomination. We are not talking about individually. We are talking about a company of people that is actually called the body of Christ or the ecclesia. You know, they are the people that responsibility are arrayed upon their shoulders to ensure that the government of God is seen upon the earth. Jesus said that um, let your kingdom come and let your will be done. And um, the Bible says that the kingdom um, is within us. That's what Jesus said that in the book of um, um, Luke. Um, he, Jesus said that the kingdom is within us. That the kingdom does not come by observation. That the kingdom is actually within us. So that life that is within us is the life that creation is actually longing for and that life is what we actually deliver creation from their bondage um, so um it's very important um for we to you know actually uh, understand um the program of god the agenda of god upon the earth and the only way god will achieve that agenda the Ecclesia is only people by which God will actually carry out that agenda. He said we are Jesus said we are the salt of the earth and we also we are the light of the world. So this is very very important. Um for we just like the book of um um Psalm hundred, I think they are some hundred began to talk about um how beautiful how wonderful it is for brethren to gather in unity for a brethren to gather in in unity um, um that unity is what paul equally began to talk about in ephesians chapter 4 um which we talk about the reason for the body if you start from chapter 1 he started talking about one faith one hope one baptism and he what you talk about we all come into the unity of faith um, unto a perfect man, unto the measure and the fullness of Christ. Um, it was the same thing also, um, the book of Psalm said, he said, uh, when we gather like that, he said, there God command his blessing. It's like oil that, the, the oil that flows from the, the head of Aaron, dead down to his bed, and dies to also his cat. Um um, it is um, is very 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 important because what have happened several times because lack of this understanding have actually divided us. So you see we you see the um, you see believers trying to do things individually, but not understanding that the body was not meant to function individually. The body is not meant to function in isolation. We are meant to function in, you know um, together. Just like in the physical body, you discover that your soul, your I mean your eyes cannot say is not the 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 head is the head is not important, and the mouth cannot say the ear is not important, and the hand cannot say that the leg is not important. Everything is working, um, everything is working together to achieve one purpose, and when one aspect of your body is sick, definitely it's going to affect the whole body. And that's what have actually happened to the body of Ecclesia. 
uh, because of lack of the lack of understanding um because of lack of understanding we don't understand that we are not meant to function in isolation we're not meant to function individually but we're meant to function together do you understand like jesus christ prayed one prayer i say that they may be one even as we are one so that is the intention of the father that is the that is what run god's head do you understand if you read the book of um um, I think um, the book of uh, Matthew chapter 28, that was almost the last word of Jesus Christ. He said, baptizing them in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Ghost. So what he's saying is that the life of God there, they are one. Um, and those are the things we're supposed to inherit. If you take a man, is a spirit, soul, and body. Then so we're supposed to inherit everything that has to do with God. That God is actually our inheritance. So it's very, very important for we to understand this as you can, as a body, we are meant to activate one another. We are meant to activate one another in love. We are meant to activate one another in faith. You know, so we are not meant to pull one another down. We are not meant to heavy one another. This is actually the program of death, the program of sin that's actually, um, that is um, running the soul of a believer that makes us to want to stay in isolation or what makes us to stay to want to function individually but we are not meant to do that uh, that is not the principle of eternal life you know jesus said that they may be one that is the prayer of jesus that's one of the prayer that jesus christ said that they may be one even as we are one so we cannot talk about the kingdom of god you cannot talk about the government of god upon the earth when we are trying to when we are trying to live individually no 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 we are meant to activate one another. Mean that without you, your brother is not complete. Without you, your sister is not complete. Without you, um, without your sister, your brother, you know, um, you are not complete. You need your brother. Your brother needs you. So we need to activate one another. You know, based on what God has put inside of you, you know, as you hear, someone can be the one, you know, taking the lead. That's why you find a leader. Uh, someone can be the one taking a little, someone can be the one, you know, that is charting a course. But what you are meant to do is to activate one another. Do you understand that through you, by the time your brother began to speak, or your brother began to talk about um, the revelation of God, the revelation of Jesus Christ, based on the, what the Holy Ghost is revealing to she or, or he um, at a particular time or in a particular meeting, or maybe as we gather together, you know, you are meant to activate your brother. You are meant to activate your sister. So by the time your brother is talking uh, by the Spirit of God, you know, um, your, your, that, that's what suppose we, we are stirring one another. We are stirring one another in love. You know, that is what every joint supply. And that is how the body is going to edify itself, you know, based on what every joint supply. You know, so you have your supply, I have my own supply, but we are working towards one agenda. We are not working to, we are not, we are not separate. We don't have any personal agenda. That is why that Ephesians 4 talk about one faith, one hope, one faith, one hope, one, everything that has to do um, with our coming together is just for one purpose. That purpose is to build, to ensure that the body himself is built up, to ensure that the body himself is being edified, to ensure that the body himself is being blessed. Do you understand? So how we are blessed is that that means we are we are defining one another. We are actually growing, you know, multiplying the life of God that is within us. So the seed of eternal life is one of us. How how the way I grow is the way I have to activate you. You have to activate me. So if that's what that's a bit of fellowship. Mean that I don't have everything to actually. Um, it's just like um, that it, when you take in the physical structure, is what as a place of cement. That's a place of sand. That's a place of granite. That's a place of water. That's a place of iron. That's, you know, everyone has his own job. Everyone has his own work when he has to do with the building. Do you understand? A smell cannot say, um, I'm so important. So I don't need, I don't need sand. Uh, sand can't just miss himself. Smell only himself can't just, you, you, both of them need to cooperate together. So that's a place of alignment. That's a place of agreement. 
in your sandy point, then you will now find a structure. So inside that structure, you find water there, you find cement there, you find block there, you find, you know, uh, you know, you find the road there. So that's what makes a building. So no any building stand on its own. So the block cannot say I am important than the um, cement, and um, and also the sun can't say I don't need cement. Do you understand? So with that design, we activate one another. So that building of the body of Christ is, I mean, we have to activate one another. We activate one another in love, in faith. Do you understand? So whereby we can be able to achieve one good. What is that good? That the kingdom of God will be seen upon the earth. And we are the one carrying that kingdom. And the way that kingdom functions is to complement one another, is to, you know, submit to one another, is to live for one another is to agree you know with one and we may have our differences but this is actually the plan and agenda of god so we activating ourselves and that's how the body is being defined so um um i, I believe that uh, by just little this little exhortation i've been able to uh, you know bring one understanding on or one understanding or the other to you when it has to do with the program of god upon the earth god bless you